Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, April 5th, and with spring brings lots of activity in the office. So I have a few key things that I'd like you to remember. Every time you write an offer with a buyer, we should get a copy of that offer, even if the offer never, get accept, never gets accepted. With regard to the trust fund and logging of checks, every time you take a check, it should come to the broker and go into our trust log. This also applies to cash for keys, any monies at all increased deposits that come into the broker's hands. Anytime you touch it with your hands, it needs to be logged in. If the buyer deposits funds directly to escrow, that's a different issue. With regard to short sales, it's now required by DRE that we keep a copy of the entire short sale package that's submitted to the lender if we, if we have a copy of that. If it touches our hands, we're required to keep a copy in our file. If, however, the client is uploading the documents directly, in the case of Equator, then we do not have to have a copy of that in our file. So be on the lookout from your transaction reviewer for those kinds of documents. We are also now using the SSA short sale addendum and the SSIA short sale information advisory. Both of those documents are now required in short sale transactions. We recently had Christine Lebrock come in and give us some information on the HUD process. A couple of things that came out of that. The nicest part, no more using a standard key as the HUD key. They have lock boxes on all of their properties. Um, also, when you're filling out a contract, use blue ink. And keep in mind also that you can advertise any HUD property that you want to advertise. You cannot, however, advertise it as your own listing. And there are plenty of inf there's plenty of information on that on HUDHomestore.com. But I have a separate about four minute video that I did with Christine that will go through some of the very basics of putting together a HUD offer and how to do that successfully. I also am going to include in the body of the email that you received with this video blog, um, important dates coming up. We have a tech fair in Sacramento, our awards luncheon, and also coming up in the El Dorado Hills office, a class on eSocial Pro, which will help you coordinate all your social media, and at the same time, um, customize your iPad. So those are some of the things that are happening in the office. Have a great week, and I'll see you again next time.